Today we're going to talk about the mesh analysis using this circuit. We have three loops which contain, consists of mesh 1, mesh 2, and mesh 3. So we're going to find the transfer function of this circuit with the ratio of I3 as a function of S over B as a function of S. So having three mesh equations of um, three mesh so we're going to use this pattern so as you can see uh, when at mesh 1 so first term is the sum of impedances around mesh 1 i times i1 sub s i1 s as a function of s minus sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 2 so meaning uh, impedances that is common to mesh 1 and mesh 2 is this one resistor and the inductor minus the sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 3 uh, times i sub 3 is a function of s is equal to sum of the applied voltages around mesh 1 so this is for the mesh 2 sum of impedances so this is minus common to mesh 1 and mesh 2 times i sub 1 is a function of s plus sum of impedances around mesh 2 times I sub 2 minus sum of impedances common to mesh 2 and mesh 3 um, times I sub 3 equal to sum of applied voltages around mesh 2 so for mesh 3 so this is sum of minus negative sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 3 times I sub 1 minus sum of impedances common to mesh 2 and mesh 3 times I sub 2 plus sum of impedances around mesh 3 times I sub 3 equal to sum of applied voltages around mesh 3. So we're going to write the equations of this circuit where we're going to find the transfer function. I sub 3 as a function of S over B as a function of S. So as you can see in mesh 1 it says that it's the sum of impedances around mesh 1 times I sub 1 it's a function of S. So the impedances around mesh 1 are this one, the resistor 1, 1, and the ductor 2S. So we're going to add these impedances. So this is 1 plus 1, 2. So therefore, this is so 2 plus 2S times I sub 1 is a function of S. So the second term is sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 2. So this is minus common to mesh 1 and mesh 2. This is mesh 1, this is mesh 2. Uh, the resistor and the inductor. So this will be <coughs> um, so 1 plus 2S times I sub 2 as a function of S. So the third term is sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 3. So resistor only is common to mesh 1 and mesh 3. So therefore this is minus I sub 2 as a function of S. So equal to the sum of applied voltage around mesh 1. So the sum of voltages around mesh 1 is equal to the voltage input of S. B is a function of S. So for the second mesh, so this is negative. Sum of impedances common to mesh 1 and mesh 2. So this resistor and this inductor. So this is 1 plus 2S times I sub 1S. Next plus sum of impedances around mesh 2. Then I sub 2 is a function of S. So, impedances around mesh 2 are these impedances. So, the inductor 4S and 3S. So, this is 7S plus 2S. This is 9S plus the resistor 1. So, therefore, this is 9S plus 1. I sub 2 is a function of S. So, the third term is sum of impedances common to mesh 2 and mesh 3. This one. So, mesh 2 and mesh 3, common, yeah. So, this is minus. So, this is uh, 
for s i sub 3 is a function of s so the total applied voltage around mesh 2 is equal to 0 so mesh 3 is mesh 3 sum of impedance is common to mesh 1 and mesh 3 this is negative so mesh 1 and mesh 3 this is 1 I sub 1 function of S as the second term is sum of impedances so this is minus sum of impedance is common to mesh 2 and mesh 3 so mesh 2 and mesh 3 common is 4S so this is 4S times I sub 2 as a function of S minus the last term this is plus this is plus sum of impedances around mesh 3 so around mesh 3 are this is 1 4s and 1 over s this is 1 plus 4s 1 over s times i sub 3 is a function of s so the total applied voltage around mesh 3 is equal to 0 so these are the mesh in this circuit so we can Express this one in matrix form. So therefore, this is two plus two s. My this is uh, one plus two s. This is negative. Okay, and then the other one is negative one. Second row. A column 2 so column 2 is this is negative 1 plus 2s then next is this is 9s plus 1 and then this is negative 4s so column 3 is this is negative 1 negative 4s and this is plus 1 plus 4s plus 1 over s. So i sub 1 is a function of s, i sub 2 is a function of s. So therefore, this will be v as a function of s, then 0. So this is the matrix form of the, the equations. So we can use the determinant or we can use Kramer's rule to find the value of the function of the transfer function i sub 3 is a function of s over b as a function of s using Kramer's rule so but before we want to solve the Kramer's rule so since this is i sub 3 as a function of s so we can we can determine the value of i sub 3 as a function of s by using determinants so therefore this is equal to uh, I sub 3 is a function of S equal to the determinant of I sub 3 and divided by the determinant D. Where we can find the D is equal to uh, this is equal to the coefficient matrix which is equal to 2 plus 2S by determinant 1 plus 2s then minus 1 plus 2s 9s plus 1 4s negative 1 4s plus 1 over s so we can find the determinant d after you find this one using the so this is the Kramer's rule substitute not on and result the ray and then you will also find d sub 3 and then that's where you can find the transfer function of the circuit so by finding the determinant so therefore this will be um, d so you should review your, your Kramer's rule so 2 plus 2 s times kanino kanin matrix 9 s plus 1 4 s Plus 4s 1 plus 4s plus 1 
minus this one is negative 1 plus 2s times uh, this is negative 1 plus 2s this is minus 1 uh, next is kani negative 4s 1 plus 4s plus 1 over s the last one is the negative 1 negative 1 times um, this is uh, negative 1 plus 2s this is 9s plus 1 negative 1 then negative 4s so this is the the d uh, where you want to using Kramer's rule no? the determinant 9s plus 1 times this term then minus negative 4s times negative 4s no? so you will do that in your assignment where you will find the d and then after that one you will find i sub 3 where i sub 3 can be found by using so if you write the equation rewrite the equation the matrix so 2 plus 2 s so to find i sub 3 i sub 3 the function of s is equal to d sub 3 over d so the d is equal to this one where you can we will we will use you will solve this function no? so therefore d sub 3 is equal to so this is the determinant of the i sub 3 where this is equal to um, the matrix 2 plus 2s 1 minus negative and negative 1 plus 2s is 1 so 1 plus 2s is 9s plus 1 so this since this is row 3 so this is i column 3 where the 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 variable of this term is i sub 3 we will replace this one with the the constant matrix which is equal to v sub a, v sub fun, v as a function of s then 0 0 where d sub 3 is equal to 2 plus 2 s by Kramer's rule so therefore this is so 9 s plus 1 negative 4 s 0 0 minus negative 1 plus 2 s so this is negative 1 plus 2 s negative 1 and then this is 0 0 minus uh, v is a function of s times uh, this is negative 1 plus 2s negative 1 so this name s plus 1 negative 4s so this is the d3 so where you substitute this simplify the money substitute this substitute the result this formula and also the determinant t you will substitute this one to this formula and then simplify the result so there where you can find i sub 3 is a function of s over d is a function of s where it is equal to the transfer function of the circuit so in your assignment so you will find i sub 3 function of s over d as a function of s where you, you should show all possible solutions solutions for sim, um, simplifying this one finding the value of the d and also finding the value of d3 and also finding the transfer function of the circuit so you should all show show all possible solutions. Uh, you use your you you, you you review your algebra and write it in a short band paper and submit it to your assignment module. So thank you. <laughs>